Hello! Today we are going to talk about how swings work and how you can get them to keep on swinging when you're an old man. But first, we'll do experiments in the lab. This contraption made by Paul Mundy, this thing is a series of weights. There are nine of them, so that one is the centre of these, and we're going to call that the centre of mass. And from there, as I hang it down, I've got a pendulum which goes up and is supported just about here on the bar. So this distance between the fifth weight there, I'll call the length of the pendulum, because that's the distance that's travelling. Now then, if I leave this at rest, I can't do anything to this. The only freedom I have is I can move the string at the top and shorten the pendulum because, as you can see, I've just raised it up and then I can lower it down. I'm going to raise it up and lower it down. Now the pendulum actually swings, so what I'm going to do is set it in motion and then repeat this idea of lifting it up and down. I'm going to lift it up when it gets to the middle there of the swing. So having got that as my point of reference, I'm going to pull it up, 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 pull it up. There, 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 there. Oh dear, it's getting a bit too violent for me. Anyway, you can see I've fed more and more energy just by changing the length of the pendulum and the idea of pushing on the string and changing the amplitude of the swing is called parametric resonance because I'm amplifying this motion by changing the length of the pendulum, which is one of the two parameters that comes into it. The other is the acceleration downwards due to gravity. The reason I can feed energy in is that when this thing swings around the bottom, very fast, there is in a tension in the string called the centrifugal force. It's as though you've got a hammer and you're swirling around and then going to throw it. Don't tell me it doesn't pull on your arms because it really does when you do that and it's that tension in the string coming because this is swinging around which is increased when it's going fast at the bottom and it's that allowing you to do work on it at the right point of the cycle you don't pull on it when it's at its extremity because then it's stationary and there's no centrifugal force. And if you pull when it's at that extremity or at that extremity, it won't work. But anywhere in between it will. And the optimum is when it's at the, the bottom. So the main idea, if you want to get a swing to go a bit further, is to feed energy in somehow. And in this case, all I'm doing is changing the effective length, that is, from the point at the top where it's pivoting and the centre of mass of the object down below. Well, I'm on the swing and my centre of mass, I reckon, is somewhere just below my belly button. And then the pivot point about which the pendulum swings is up there. So the question is, how do I have some injection of energy? Because there's no finger at the top changing the length of the pendulum. Nothing at all up there, so I've somehow got to change the length of the pendulum myself. Well, first of all, I can push myself off just by starting at an angle. And then I'm going to rock backwards and forwards. So when I go forward, I lean back. And when I go back, I can lean the other way. And when I go forward, I lean back. And when I go back, I lean the other way. And if you do that, after a while, you can go much higher. Oh dear, I'm, I'm too old for this. So when I was going forwards, as I remember it, I pulled on the ropes and leaned backwards. And as a result, as you can see, my belly button has gone maybe a bit down, but I've pulled this up so that it makes an angle. And if I can show you from the side, it now looks more like that. There's my belly button down there, but the line to, the, to there has been shortened because I've made this into a triangle. And so the actual distance between my belly button and the pivot has got smaller. And when I go back the other way, I push on this. 
I push on this. And as I push on this, it gets bent the other way. And my belly button is still here, but this distance is a bit smaller. So in effect, all I've done is the same thing as the finger pushing up and down on the string by making the pendulum length from my center of mass to the pivot point change twice every cycle at the right point. If I chose the wrong point, it wouldn't work nearly so well. And every kid knows how to do this. You sit down there, you go forwards, and then you put your feet forwards and back and forwards and back. And you don't realize that in order to do that, you must pull on the chain. I would drop my legs, drop my weight, drop my weight, drop my weight twice every cycle and hope that that would amplify it. 